everyone in this video i want to show you something special so that's basically how to create magical stickers and by that i mean that you just go to goodnotes and you can select an, uh, your sticker just go to color and then choose whichever color you basically want so whether it's this color or this color or whichever color you can just change it in seconds Versus if we had the old stickers here, which are usually uploaded as an image, what happens with this is that I can't change the color. I, all I can do is I can either crop it so I can make, you know, the image smaller. And another thing I can do is I can color the sticker itself. So then if I do do that, which is very complicated because I usually use an iPad for this, uh, to write things and to color things, but I wanted you to see it better. So that's why I'm using this So now it's gonna be very hard for me to color because Good notes is definitely not for a computer and I'm not even using a mouse. So Yeah, anyways, I can go to a highlighter tool for example, and I can just color her hair and then once I do that I can then choose select it and I will have to, but then I would have to move the image, but I can, oh, sorry, I can select it. And I think in the selecting tools, I can select that I don't select the image. And in this case, the image will not get selected. And then I can change the color. So now it can be black, it can be blue, it can be whatever you want. So. The stickers that you already have, don't worry, there's a way to use it um, and to go around it. However, today I want to show you how to create stickers that you completely, completely can customize. So let's get rid of this young lady and I'm going to delete the, um, uh, the color as well. And now for this to work, what you need to do is you don't need to know necessarily how to draw. Uh, what you can do is you can just upload the image. So I'm just going to use my doggy as an example. So I'm just going to upload his image and then I just choose a pen. Then also play around with the settings, see what works for you. For me, it's just, uh, it's not going to work because I'm literally, usually, you know, when I'm tracing, I'm definitely using an Apple pencil. I'm not using a computer. This is just torture. But let's say I, I decided to torture myself. So then I would just trace him. Uh, it's already looking beautiful. I am sorry for my gorgeous dog. Uh, I mean, but, you know, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just do that and then I you know like trace his nose so it can be very personal for you uh, it could be something um, you know like this it could be your animal or something that you want I don't know why you're why are you doing this computer okay I think there's a setting selected which is draw and hold and it's not always the best I don't know why it's here. okay here so we have that and then after that you would just delete this image also don't do it like me and don't draw it on top of other things because <laughs> now i can't even see where it was but i think you got the message how i created these images and then after that what we can do is we can actually uh, change the colors and things like that so this secret is not such a secret i just never thought about it i guess personally and when i saw magical stickers i just was very curious of how i would do it and so then i just thought a little bit about it but basically i'm just telling you how to do it so now you know because it's drawn in good notes I can change the color. So in other words, it's not about the file that you upload necessarily. It's more about the fact that GoodNotes treats it differently. So in this case, it treats it as a drawing versus an image. Okay, so this is one thing, right? Um, but to there's multiple things that I want to show you today because I've created um, quite a couple of those. So for example, these are the Boho style stickers. And then you can also check out the kind of shapes for yourself. I also drew some flowers. So basically using the method of having a flower and then uh, tracing it. And and you saw these. And I also have uh, some line art, 
which is at the very beginning, which is this one. So again, uh, all of these, you can actually change the color, so you don't need to worry about it. So you just cho choose one, so you would ch just trace one, or you would trace all of them. Click on it, again, click color, and then I can just choose a different color that I like and that makes me feel good, for example. So now for uh, the... Um, for this, uh, I would like to show you something maybe brand new, so that you haven't seen so far. So I'm gonna go to just an empty page, and I'm gonna show you how to create your own washi tape. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color it in. So I'm gonna uh, one thing that's very useful to know is that if I go here, I go to draw and hold, and I choose draw and hold. I mean, I. Okay, never mind. Uh, what happens is that if I draw and wait, it makes it into a straight line, so it's a little bit more bearable to watch. And I don't want it all to be straight line, but I do want some of it. So here's my first washi tape. I'm gonna delete this little line. And what I can do now, I can add some patterns. And the way we're gonna do that, actually, we're gonna go to Canva because I want to upload that as an image and I will explain it really quickly to you. Um, so first we're gonna create a pattern and it's very, very easy. I'm just gonna draw some lines um, and just copy the lines and then I can actually select these lines and um, go to position and you know make them vertically aligned. So, and to duplicate, I'm actually holding option key and then it just duplicates for me. So, and then if I want, I can select it, make it bigger, or smaller or whatnot. Annoying part is that if I want it longer, then I kind of have to do this, which is not great, but you can do that. So basically we can create any pattern that we want in Canva. Now, the thing that's going to be tricky is that I don't have a paid version on this account and you probably, maybe, I don't know, uh, don't have it either. So then what happens is that when I want to download this file, it's going to download it with the white background and you need a paid version. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to title this lines and I'm just going to download this image anyways. So I just it doesn't really matter what you select but i'm just gonna choose png and then i'm gonna go to background remover on google so basically just a random website i kind of like this one i'm gonna upload the image and we're gonna go to the ooh, to the top and i'm just gonna choose lines and so now I have the lines uploaded and it removed the background for me. So now when I go to back to GoodNotes um, and I upload this image, I'm going to upload it as an image and downloads, lines. Mm, and so, okay, this is the wrong one, wrong file, but this is what I was saying before. Uh, here it is. Here's my lines without the background. So here. So this is what I was saying. It would give you the background and it's basically unusable. But here I have it without the background and I can make it a little bigger and move it around and add it here. Now, the reason I want it as an image and not as, um, uh, as I don't want to just draw it there because when I select it, I can move it away really easily. I can also, when I'm selecting the selection tool, uh, there's this option of not selecting images. So basically I can move this piece without moving that piece. And this is extremely helpful when you, for example, uh, draw a color and you just don't move, want to move that color. You want the lines to stay there. You want the pattern to stay there but you just want to have that color. Well, this is kind of a bad choice on this background because you can't see anything. But basically, I add the color, and now if I want to move, you know, just the washi tape without the pattern, I can do it really easily. So that's why I did that. So yeah, so for the washi tape, it's really fairly uh, simple. You would just create the shape uh, and then color it in. And again, when I'm coloring, 
uh, I can just hold a pen and it makes this straight line for me so I don't end up with something like this but also you can change the pen to a ball pen so then your pressure isn't uh, going crazy and it's not creating thicker and thinner lines or something like this another reason why i wanted to include canva in this and show you how to make it is because there's just way more options if you do it like that so for example now that i have my first washi tape and i have my first pattern of course i can create multiple other washi tapes and i can change the color really easily so for example for me to change the color of this i just okay i just select everything and i should click on color and probably saw this a million times today but yeah so that's it so i can quickly create 10 variations of my washi tape and i also don't have to worry because if i want to change it to the next month i can do that right but another thing about Canva in particular is that they actually have a lot of cute things. So for example, if I go to search and I just choose mood board, it's going to add some um, nice, you know, uh, paper and washi tapes and things like that that I can then copy and use myself. So for example, let's choose the one we like. Maybe we like this one. Oh, this is paid. Okay. I'm going to choose something free just because I know that some people don't have the paid version. If you have paid, then you don't care about this. But basically what I'm going to do is I only want this washi tape. There's nothing else that I want. So I'm going to just copy this, uh, go to my file, create a new page, add this washi tape, um, make it bigger. And also you don't have to go through that. You can just write washi tape here and then add multiple washi tapes that are free. So the free ones are without this, uh, I forgot how it's called, but whatever, you know what I mean? The, um, the queen hat. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, there's not much of a selection, but there's still some that you can choose. And maybe let's try transparent. Oh, don't know what it, here, I just found some more. So I can add these and I can make any of these transparent also. That's not, well, it's not a problem, but it is going to be trickier with um, the whole background removal thing. Anyways, so I can do this. I can also change the color here. So I just edit image and just choose something from here. Some maybe wanted orange. So. Again, I can play around with this a little bit. And now that I have these, what I can do, I can download them. So I'm just gonna select the second page. It's the same, actually, you can add some pins and clips as well. Okay, maybe not pin, maybe clip is better. Um, so here, you can add, you know, something like this and download that. And, and I think it really gives a more natural, uh, feeling to your planner and makes it look nicer so you can like really play around with this because there are a lot of free things here and now I'm gonna download them so I'm gonna download the last two um, like that download and we're gonna go to remove background the same thing and we would just upload the thing we found so now I'm gonna have to unzip them here they are and I can go to, I don't know how to go back to this. Okay, so I click upload image. I go to lines, I think, and I will just upload this image. And not every image is going to be, room, like not every image will have the perfectly removed background, but we're lucky so far. So I'm just going to download that and I'm going to add another one for you to just see. So this little paper thingy, again, I'm going to remove the background. As you can see, it's perfectly fine. And there's always a way to go around Canva. Anyways, I go back to GoodNotes. I choose image. I click on it, insert from, I go to my downloads, go to lines. Okay, I go to um, the one that I downloaded. I don't know where I put them here. So I have all of these and actually it's for me, it's fine to have all of them like this because what I do personally, I have them here. And then if I want just the pin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Okay, move away. Um, 
Mm, doesn't let me copy. Okay, anyways, I will choose crop and then I'm gonna go to freehand and then I'm just gonna choose the little pin thingy and gonna click done. So now I just have my pin and I can do whatever I want with the pin. If I want to add more, I just click the image, uh, insert from, and then go back to the same thing that we were just doing. So maybe I need to add, I want to add this. So you can see, you can quickly create your own stickers like that. Now, if you like this particular sticker book, because this sticker book comes with the stickers that I showed you, so it comes with the line art, it comes with the boho, and this, and this, and this, I will have a link below with a um, discount for you, and basically that's it for the video. If you have any questions on how to create certain stickers, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make that video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.